Here we are in the desert once again, Arizona. It's beautiful. I love the desert. And uh, we're here to run. I'm here to run this race again. Last year was a beautiful experience. It's kind of crazy to describe a hundred mile pain cave as beautiful, but it really was. I, I loved it. Even as bad as it hurt, I loved it. I'm trying to fill my mind with positive thoughts right now because my body is really, really hating life. It brought me to places that my day-to-day -day life never brings me. The only way we know you're hurting is you're not dancing. No. No. And when I confront these challenges, both physically and mentally, I think it brings out the best in me. I like doing these types of challenges because I'm choosing the pain. And a lot of times in life, something horrible can happen and you're not choosing that pain and you have to confront it and you have to deal with it. And when I choose th these moments, these races or bike rides, it, uh, it helps me to gain the strength that I need for when life throws so something at me that I'm not expecting. And so this is, this is voluntary. I, I'm choosing to be out here to really, really confront the, the most difficult things that, that I can put my body through. I put myself right to that edge, you know, right to the edge and you peek over, you want to see what it's like and, and you know, you feel like you're not going to be able to, to accomplish whatever you're doing and then you do, you just keep moving forward, one foot in front of the other. And uh, it's helped me out in life many, many times through very, very difficult situations that don't involve running a hundred miles. It makes me tougher, mentally and physically. I am out here with the world's best crew. Good morning, Zanta. Good morning, I'm so excited. <laughs> Two women who I admire in so many ways and they are just pure sweetness out here. They keep me in check, they give me my nutrition, but more than anything, they give me love. You know, and that's what you need in a race. You need, to, you need some hugs and high fives and loves. And this year, I have an extra special secret weapon. Allie, my girlfriend, who I met six months ago, during a race, the Caballo Blanco race, she's out here to run that last lap with me, which I know is gonna be very difficult. Last year, that last lap just about did me in, and I'm gonna need Allie. I do not know what's gonna to happen tomorrow. You know, I'm gonna wake up in seven hours and I'm gonna start running 100 miles. Last year when I finished, I was like, I'm gonna train and I'm gonna run faster. You know what? That didn't happen. I rode my bike across the country with my girlfriend this summer. I did not run one step. For the last two months, I've been running, but I really haven't been putting in the miles that I should be putting in to be able to do a 100 mile race. So I am a little scared, I'm a little nervous. I don't know how my body is gonna react to all this. Last year, on the last lap, when I was deep, deep, deep in the pain cave and I was walking from mile 80 to 90, I had a moment of, you know, this sucks, but it's also beautiful. I'm seeing shooting stars, I'm listening to coyotes, I saw a rattlesnake. Everybody around me is supportive and positive, and it was, it was a great feeling. I felt alive, you know? And even though it hurt so bad, I was like, I'm doing this next year. I'm gonna get to the finish line this year, and I'm gonna come back next year and do this again. And it's probably gonna be an entirely different experience, and that's what I want. Running for me is, it's an experience. It's another challenge, it's an adventure, and it's always unknown, and that's what's exciting. Almost full moon is beautiful. I love looking at everybody's headlamp. You can see a teeny, teeny bit of color on the horizon. Oh man, I'm feeling very fortunate to be here right now. No matter what happens out here today, it's gonna be a good day. I'm Chris, how you doing bud? Hey, I'm doing awesome. It's a beautiful day to be running in the desert. It sure is. 
We're saying that now when the yeah, sun's yeah, not five out. five hours from now and be crying on the side <laughs> of the trail somewhere. <laughs> Walking the hills, walking the hills. Last year I went out a little bit fast and I think that's what burned me toward the end. This year, I'm gonna take it easy. Good morning! The first A station, high five! Yes! Yes! A stations here are so good, they got everything, man. I love Pringles at 7 a.m. Yeah! Thank you guys, you're the best! First A station down, how are we feeling? It's a beautiful day. Beautiful day. My goal this year at the A stations is to eat a lot more real food, not just the sweet gels. Last year I got so sick of them, by the end I couldn't eat anything, and I bonked. So this year, I'm gonna be trying to eat more salty stuff, more bananas, more fruits, maybe a grilled cheese. Walking up hills, walking up hills. Oh yeah, the sun is coming up. Look at that bright orange glorious ball of fire. These cactus right here are called the Choya, and they will stick to you and they will never let go, so be careful. Ladies and gentlemen, I just found Captain America. Look at this, he's got the shield, he's got a helmet. What inspired you to run like this? Uh, he's an awesome superhero. I'm actually a captain in the army myself, so kind of fit. But uh, I'm not as cool, but hey, whatever gets me through the miles and keeps motivation up, right? Hopefully I can motivate other people too. It's a hill, everybody! You gotta stop! Gotta, gotta walk! <laughs> walk! I found a fellow hill walker. Going for the Magnum PI this time around. Yeah, look at the cutoff shirt. Oh, yeah. Very breathable. Baby. Very breathable. Oh, you meet some good people out here. Yeah! Wow, look at this dude! You ready? To, what's your favorite song? What are you gonna play for us? Round and round. <laughs> I see Jamil! What up, Jamil? What's up, Jamil? Thank you for organizing this beautiful race. We made it to Jackass Junction, only 90 miles to go. Yay! Yeah! Let's go All right! right. Yeah! Yeah! yeah. yeah. Uh, you are beautiful. Get it? Gonna eat me a tater. Nom, nom, nom. Bean burritos, bean burritos, baby. I love beans. Look, a pickle. The skeleton has a boner. Seriously. The skeleton's got a boner. Okay, that's enough messing around. Time to move. This guy is Trent, we call him Coach. How's What's your name? Newton. Newton! What do you guys love about running? It's like being present, you know? Like nowadays we're on phones and computer screens and you know, a lot of us have desk jobs and you don't really get to just be here, you know? It's the freedom. Yeah. You can run anywhere. That's right. You can do anything on a run. You can feel how you want to feel. You can take what you want to take. You can just live your life how you want to live it on a run. Yeah! Okay, I like eight stations. You know what I'm gonna eat? Some more bean burritos, pickles. Hey, it's Jamil again. What's up, brother? Good to see you. Jamil's everywhere. I don't know how he does it. Look at this sex pop. What's up? I love these saguaro cactus. They are majestic. And they're hundreds of years old. It's really amazing. And they all look like they're flipping you off. Oh, hill, sweet. Mama said walk the hills. So Trent, do you want to send a message to your future self when you watch this on YouTube later? Definitely. Hi Trent, hopefully you finish in under 24 hours and you're awesome, I'm proud of you my man. Hi Jesse as well. All right. Walk break. Guess what, it's time to hike. People watching this video are gonna think we're just walking all the time. <laughs> yeah, what's up? Whatever race, whatever distance, when somebody's cheering you on, you just start going faster. Right. There really is a lot of power in cheering people on. Yeah. Yeah. Excited to see my ladies. <laughs> I just powered up. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> All right, I gotta go. Yeah, see you later. I definitely waste all my energy dancing, but it's worth it. Hello, everybody. Uh, it's just, it's reminding me of the joys of this race from last year. You know, the first lap, it's pretty easy. You take it easy. Thank you. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Um, okay, so when he took off, I got a little teary, and Santa was like, are you crying? <laughs> but this is why, like last year, it was exciting, it was new. We're like, yeah, you got this, but 
Oh man, it's hard. Like I just know that, yeah, it's gonna be fun, exciting, and it's gonna be painful. And so we're really glad we can be here for him to support him, but yeah, it's coming. And that's really, that's why we're here. All right, starting lap number two, I'm feeling good. Got some food, got some electrolytes, got some pumpkin pie, got some massage, and uh, feel good. Is there room for two under there? <laughs> <laughs> I'll help you carry it. How you been, man? How you doing, brother? Hey, and it's a puppy dog. Oh, look at the puppy dog. We got Dave, we got Newton, and look who's up here. Hey. We got Trent. Ooh, yeah, Rattlesnake Ranch. Pickle juice. Oh, yeah. Wetting down the arms. Thank you, everybody. Let's do it. We're running up on all the 100K runners right now. Looking good, looking good. Good job. Hey, this is great. This is a great part of the race because now we have other people to say hi to. Good job, good job, way to go, way to go. So Luke, you're 15, what are all your friends doing today? <laughs> they're, not, they're not running 100 miles like you. Looks like you guys need a high five. Boom, boom, boom. We're giving out free high fives right here. Yeah, boom, boom. High five, buddy, here we go, high five, yeah. High fives, high fives. All right, guys, I don't know if you know this or not, but we are winning right now. Winning w. Yeah, look, it's Yoda. The force is with me. <laughs> guys, this bench looks really good. We might have we might have to just to take a little ah yeah oh that's hot on my old booty ah oh, feels baby. good doesn't it hey, we're at Jackass Junction about 30 miles into the race 70 to go that still seems like way too far <laughs> but, yeah, sure I'm happy. yeah thank you sir thank you so much look how big my muscles are they're huge. Pickle juice time. Boom. Do a little stretching. I'm loving the pumpkin pie today. Thank you, Jackass Junction! Yeah, you start to feel tired before one of these ace stations. You hang out for five to 10 minutes, give some high fives, eat some food. I mean, it's amazing what, what a difference it makes. It looks like I have a giant tumor in my arm. All oh, the ice. It's not a tumor. It's not a tumor, not don't worry. It's about high noon here in the desert. The sun is way up in the sky. It is hot. Yeah. We got another bench in the middle of the desert with our name on it. Look at that. Oh, oh man. Let's see. Oh, what a view. We're going to sit here and cheer people on. Way to go. Woo! Yeah. We made it to Coyote Camp. Just in time for some queen. Oh yeah, you guys are the best. <laughs> what are you eating, bud? Watermelon! Taters. Oh, yeah. That's right. Uh -huh. Jim Beam, Fireball, Bloody Mary mix. Thank no thank you. But I do like that it's here. Makes me happy. Get him! Yes. Oh! Yes. <laughs> hey, we got a little 40 mile chicken. How you feeling? Feeling great. Yourself? I feel pretty good. You know, my legs are definitely starting to be like, okay, you put some miles on. Yeah. My quads are feeling it when I go downhill. My left hammy's getting a little tight, doing a little stretch here. So here we are, Trent and Ryan, just talk, 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 yep, talking. Like always, just and talk. look who found us in the middle of nowhere. Hi. It's Hi. Allie! <laughs> Allie! Allie! Nice job, nice job, way to go! We're getting closer to the headquarters. Come out, come out, come out! I gotta watch out where I swing my hands. I might stab there myself on a cactus. <laughs> yeah! yeah. Oh, what's up, what's up? Yeah! I love running through here. It's coming in hot! Yeah! Oh, yeah, 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 yeah! What's up, what's up? Wipe your face down. Yeah. And then you're back to the neck. Oh! Ryan, we're so proud of you. How oh. far is that? 40 something? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Look at me, for real. Like, this should be your slowest lap. Yeah. Because this is the hottest lap. Yeah. So just like go slow, stay hydrated, stay cool. And then if you're feeling good, you can go crazy as soon as it's dark. Yeah. I promise you. Don't get yeah. caught up with your buddy. You run at 8 30. Like, <laughs> I'm serious. <laughs> I do it. I'm serious, yeah, man. You, you know what? Because you could bonk. Go? This one goes in here. Yeah. Oh, you could totally bonk. Like, just yeah. if you're going too fast, just be like, dude, I was great seeing you, man. I got to slow down. Yeah. I, I, I got to. Okay. 
I got a goal. I appreciate it, Coach. Thank you. Love you guys. Love you. Okay. Okay, let's run. Here we go, lap three. And it definitely feels like they turned the temperature up on us. It's hot. I'm not sure where Trent is. I'll find him. How you feeling? You got this, bud. You got this. Hey, look. It's Coyote Camp. Whew. How you doing, man? All Feeling right. good? Yeah, doing all right. All right, we'll lap you on. Uh -uh. We'll lap you on. Finishing two? Finishing two, yeah. All right, man. Good yeah. job. Good job. Yeah. I got my ice arms, and look who I found. Look at this guy. Hey! Hey! hey. It's everybody's favorite trend. Back together. To suffer in the sun. Way to go! Way to go! <laughs> what a clown. It's Yoda! <laughs> it's my Yoda! I love that Yoda backpack. Nice job. What's up? What's up, girl? Walking in the heat, saving our energy for the later laps. Flintstones, meet the Flintstones. Hey, look! It's really him. Oh, there's our bench. Let's take a little seat. Oh, baby. Oh, God, that feels good. Look at this view. Look at that. It's really hot out here. This is James, and he lives in Bermuda. Can you believe it? We have just hit the halfway mark, 50 miles. Wow! <laughs> we still have 50 miles to go. What's up? Yeah, look at you. I like it. More bean burritos. Yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> thank you so you much. Go. Rock and roll. Ooh, thank you, Jackass Junction. I took a long time at Jackass there, and it was totally necessary. And I feel, I feel great. It hurts again. <laughs> oh, the buzz of the high from Jackass Junction is wearing off. Yeah, I'm back to the pain cave. This is where I start my gratitude march. Every step I take, I think of somebody I love. And it helps me to keep on moving forward. And my first bit of gratitude goes to Mother Nature. Look what she did. Look at this place. At Burning Man, we always howl when the sun goes down behind the mountain. So here we go. Ho! Ho, 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 ho! Look who I found. Oh, and the perfect timing, too. How's it going? Good. Happy hump lap. Happy what lap? Hump lap. Oh, hump lap. Yeah, I guess yeah. it's the hump. It's the hump. All right. Yeah. Pizza. It is Saturday. Gotta have a pizza party. So Ryan just came in on yeah. his third lap. He's hurting. He's definitely eating better, which is so much better than last year. But there's just no way to run 100 miles and not hurt. And so this lap, this fourth lap, is going to hurt. Love you! It's a deeply spiritual experience when you go to that place of just raw suffering. It cuts away all the junk. It reminds you of what's important. It also gets you so in touch with everything that's going on inside your body, which is interesting because at the same time, you can feel this connection to everything outside of your body. And you can have these feelings of just like oneness. I feel pretty much exactly how I felt last year at this point. My body is breaking down, getting tired, getting nauseous. Can't really eat anymore. And, uh, yeah, it worries me a little bit. Got some ramen soup. I'm really not hungry, but I'm forcing myself to eat because I know I need the calories because of, I bonked big time last year because I'm not eating, but man, it's hard to eat when you just feel like throwing up. <laughs> Oof. Yeah. Yeah. Good job. Look at that. that beautiful snake. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. 
I won't mess with the snake anymore. I don't need a rattlesnake bite on top of nausea. <laughs> or maybe it would cure me, I don't know. Yeah. Way. This is great. Oh yeah. I got some more soup. That's what I do now. I eat soup in the middle of the desert by myself. So you can't see me because my headlamp just died. Luckily we have a almost full moon, but I can't see anything at all. This sucks. Mommy. Hello. What's up? Yeah, man. High five. How's How it going? High five. Woo! Look at all that noodle soup. Noodle soup, noodle soup. This has been my secret weapon. Thank you. This aid station is amazing. Not only because they have amazing food, they hooked me up with a flashlight. I was liking navigating by the moon, but this is much safer. We got ourselves another rattlesnake. Look at that guy. Finished lap four. How are you guys doing? One more. One more. One more. Go, go kick it out. Yeah. Go kick it out. Yep. Allie's yeah. coming with me. Let's oh. do it. Yep. Do it. it. I had a roller coaster of a last lap. Hopefully this lap is a little better. All right, Allie. Mm -hmm. I've been waiting for this all day. Aww. Get to run with my Allie. Welcome to my pain cave. <laughs> Although you're not in pain. <laughs> Drive it down. More soup. All right, I had a little bit of grilled cheese and some soup. Once again, eating is very difficult. I feel like it's all gonna leave my body immediately after I eat. <laughs> good job, good job. It's a shame I'm in so much pain because the sky is so beautiful, but I'm kind of just looking at my feet. It feels so good to sit down. I wish I was done with the race. <laughs> I would just fall over and sleep. 10 more miles though, 10 miles and I can go to bed. This is just the motivation I needed for the last 10 miles. Jim Walmsley, yes! Woo! Yes! And he has lots of sparkles all over his face. I, I, I ran into a unicorn. Magic. Thank you, Jackass! Love that. So cool. All right, so we're leaving Jackass. I have a huge stomach cramp <laughs> and 10 miles to go. And we have Allie, this is our romantic date. Just a nice stroll through the desert at night. We're getting there. I am doing very okay, very okay. I'm highly uncomfortable. My legs hurt, my feet hurt, my stomach hurts. Oh. Okay, let's do this. What do you say? That way, 3.7 miles. Woo! Get him! Ow! This is one of those moments in a race where it is pure willpower. Everything hurts. Everything is uncomfortable. Right now, it's just one foot in front of the other. Moving forward. All right, Allie, I can hear the music, I can see the lights. We did it! You got me here in style. Oh man, baby, you've just been cruising. I'm working hard to keep up with you. <laughs> yeah! Oh, here we go. Yeah! Finish it, Stone.
Hi there. <laughs> it's the morning after, and everything hurts. I'm trying to ice my feet, drink some coconut water. My body feels pretty horrible, like in a lot of different ways. And after the race, it was hard to walk to the RV. It was hard to get up into bed last night, and just my legs were throbbing, my knees were throbbing, my quads, my toes were all busted up. Getting my shoes off was very difficult. Getting my socks off, and I was like, oh no, what did I do to myself? It's that good pain. You know, you're like, all right, I did something. I, I accomplished something pretty big and I'm proud of myself. And I pushed it and uh, it's a beautiful sunny day and uh, my body's gonna heal and I'll probably do something stupid like this again someday. <laughs> I never thought I would run 100 miles when I was, you know, becoming a runner as a kid. That sounds insane and it still is. <laughs> you know, it's worth the pain and it's worth the long recovery because it's just, it's really it's a beautiful experience and I don't do this very often like and I don't think I'll ever do 100 mile races all that often maybe once a year and so for me it's a special occasion it, overall is beautiful experience having Dana and Xantha here the best crew in the world they are just such amazing ladies and then having Allie at the end and being in Arizona being in the desert one of my favorite places you know it's 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 a weekend I'll never forget. I will never forget this weekend.